um, welcome to the March for Science Chico. Um, I wanted to speak with you all a little bit about the intersection of science when it comes to environmental policy. Um, as you are all aware, we have legislation that helps protect our rights to clean air and clean water. Um, unfortunately, those legis that legislation was prompted um, by environmental disasters. And I think that we have come to the point in our collective society where we don't have to wait for an environmental disaster to react and to protect our planet. Um, we have the scientific capabilities to understand the trends and understand the trends and um, of our environment and to know when something needs to be protected. Without science at the forefront of environmental research and development, closer, okay. Current policies that protect our many precious ecosystems will be in danger and it will be a challenge to, to pass any future environmental protective legislation. Um, sorry. Uh, as we all know, our climate is changing and there have already been extraordinary efforts that people are putting into protecting and preserving our planet. But there are government agencies out there like the National uh, Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, and the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, that are leading the way in climate and environmental research. Um, we must continue to fight for the funding of these agencies and many other crucial agencies that work so hard to protect our planet and ultimately all of us. Mo many will try and argue that environmental policies come at an unacceptable cost to our economy. But I would say to those people that we can have both. Uh, environmental regulation and a strong economy are not mutually exclusive ideas. The utilization of science is one way that we can overcome that stigma. Um, it is amazing to me to see all of you here today standing up and um, to, in support of science, and we cannot let the role that science plays in the protection of our planet diminish. Protecting our planet will make, and making sure that it's here and healthy for future generations will benefit all of us. So thank you all so much for being here today. Great job, Haley. Thank you.